Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming and Diablo 4. We've just had our new winter season event drop and the first seasonal event for Diablo 4 as a whole. This is the Midwinter Blight event which starts today on Tuesday the 12th of December and will last until Tuesday the 2nd of January. The event introduces a new storyline after a new character appears called Gillian the Bard and to my knowledge this is the first bard we've seen in the game. It all takes place in the Fractured Peaks region which is pretty hard to miss since you've got the entire zone covered in a sort of a light purple colour for the next 20 days to mark it out. Today I'm covering all the details you need to know, the little story, the rewards and how to do it, so let's just get started. Quickly let's begin with the game's context of what's happening here. The event centers around the Fractured Peaks and Gillian the Bard, who you can find in Kyovashad the city, at the same place we were crafting the malignant hearts in season 1. Gillian has returned from Hazua, despite living elsewhere for his life, he was actually born here and heard stories about the land. For his return, he's combating the current threat that's taken over the Fractured Peaks. Since he can't really fight him himself, he just wants to lift people's spirits. Using you, you begin amassing proof that they can be defeated, warding off the fear and helping the people sort of gain the courage to fight back. The lore of the monsters here is pretty grim, they're stealing people and creating these sacrifices, freezing people to turn them into idols and we see them as sort of frigid statues we need to defeat and destroy. In that you actually free people or the monsters that they're also grabbing. It's all in offering for the big bad of the event, the red cloaked horror which is somewhere out there. If you speak with Gillian about him being a bard of all things, he highlights the fact that bards aren't really around here and it's because the Church of Light are against his kind of heresy, spreading joy through song and dance which is apparently horrible and the church despises it. In any case, Gillian marks the first bard to my knowledge and hints that with the church being weakened after the events of the story, maybe we'll see bards in the future. Who knows, maybe we'll eventually get like a bard class. Next though, why actually do the event itself? Well, because there's three main types of rewards. First up, there's 14 cosmetics available, which is quite a lot for an event like this. The cosmetics feature eight different weapon skins, five back pieces, which are quite expensive, and one mount trophy. Back pieces cost 50 of the new currency called Midwinter Proof, while the mount trophy costs just 30 and the weapon skins down to 20 each. But in regards to this cosmetic reward system, I am relieved. You can kind of straight buy exactly what you want. There's not some annoying RNG system where you pull from a pool of items and maybe get what you want and have to try again when you don't. Outside of the cosmetic rewards, there's also some very impactful ones to consider and they're not all that expensive. Firstly, we have this new elixir named Gillian's Brew Elixir. Instead of the usual 5% XP gain from having an elixir active, this one gives you triple the XP rate at 15% increased XP while it's active. That's awesome, it's just a bit of a shame it's come so late in the season. Still, if you're thinking about maybe making an all or finishing off leveling something to 100, this event and that elixir, it makes for a smart time to do it. It also provides an increase to your max life and lucky hit chance while active, and that's for another 15%, so it's undeniably the best elixir to run if you are leveling anything. Interestingly, the elixir is extremely cheap, costing literally just one of the new currency, so you should easily be able to run it as much as you want during the event. Finally, there's another important reward, which is actually a new aspect, which was unexpected, but pretty cool to see for an event like this. It's a new offensive aspect. It provides between 25 to 35% attack speed while active, and 20% movement speed as well, which lasts for a total of 12 seconds. To trigger it though, it's kind of an on off effect. You need to wait out the 30 seconds of off, which is during the night's grasp aspect of the buff, which then turns into dawn's haste buff, and that's where you actually get the stats. Though you can empower this effect with the midwinter ward if you've got that going, killing an enemy will then reduce the night's grasp duration uh, by one second per kill. So you've got a rolling buff that after 30 seconds turns into a new buff that actually provides stats for 12 seconds. It's also very attainable, only 10 of the new currency, so 10 midwinter proof to get one. Interestingly, you can actually keep and use this aspect and the XP elixirs after the event itself ends. It'll stay on your character, however many aspects you bought or elixirs you saved up, you just won't be able to buy or get more in the future. Having said that, I'm not sure if these rewards will come to you to the Eternal Realm when the season ends, but it definitely means you can use them beyond the event itself. In the case of the XP potion, if you're ever planning on leveling anything, maybe even on the Eternal Realms, it might be a good idea to stock up. If it works how we think it should, once the season ends and the Seasonal Realm closes, everything you had will be brought to the Eternal Realm, including these XP elixirs, so you should be able to bring them across the Eternal Realms via that at the end of the season. Though, you know, that's based on logic, but I also wouldn't be massively surprised if something goes wrong and that doesn't happen, but yeah, fair warning on that. 
There's a couple things to consider here as well. You can also buy the Midwinter Purse for one proof currency, or for eight, you can get the Midwinter Spoils. The purse is just a gold reward if for some reason you need that, but I wouldn't recommend it. The currency isn't really worth it, and you can get gold so easy in Season 2 through other methods, playing normally, vendoring rares, and so on. The Midwinter Spoils bag, however, for eight is a bit better. You get some items, random armor and gen fragments, and maybe some of Gillian's brew. Not necessarily a bad pick if you've got everything you want from the event, and you're still gathering more resources so you've got something to actually spend it on but i would only really say these bags are for people who have already finished the event so i've mentioned it a bunch of times now how do you actually get the new currency the midwinter proof you need to collect the three new materials found in the event that's the blighted fragments the lost heirlooms and the red cloak trophies these come from specific enemy types of which there's three so blight fiends for blighted fragments frigid husks for the heirlooms and red cloaked horrors provide the trophies blight fiends are basically every damn enemy in the fractured peaks right now they all seem to drop it even if they're not even visually part of the event. Meanwhile, the frigid husks are the idols they're making out of people. So you bump into them by wandering around the area. You also see them at events in large groups, which is ideal. You also get heirlooms from completing the events in the area by simply opening the chest at the end. So clearing the events is clearly the most efficient way to do it. As I mentioned though at the start, these frigid husks are people and things turned into frozen idols. So you might free a person or a normal enemy. For example, I once freed a treasure goblin from one, which I then killed for extra loot. Either way, you take these materials back to town at the Midwinter Proof Exchange, the bench right by Gillian. Each material requires different amounts for the exchange. Blighted will require 300 fragments for one Midwinter Proof, 30 lost heirlooms for one proof, and then one trophy for one proof. You'll quickly find you're killing a ton of blighted enemies, regularly the frigid husks, but the red cloaked horror is the most rare one. The red cloaked horror is the main enemy for the whole event. You actually get a new title for killing it, which is the first half frigid and the second half reveler. We hunt down the red cloaked horror in a straightforward way. You simply need to complete the new blighted revelry event, which has a chance to spawn at any of the events in the area. You need to complete the mastery for it though, which actually spawns the red cloaked horror. The event's slightly interesting. You got a fire in the middle that you light, and you need to protect it from enemies that spawn. The fire spreads its radius until it chills the frigid husks around it, which if you kill all of them while the fire is active, you can then take down all the husks and spawn in the red cloaked horror, which is hilariously very weak. It dies instantly to an end game build, so there's no real worry there. The RNG of actually getting that event is kind of annoying though. You need to go around and just pick random events and hopefully it will be the revelers event. So you might get lucky, you might get unlucky. The best way to farm out the new currency then is to simply be in that area farming enemies as you go to event to event, almost like farming a Helltide. Ideally, you bump into the new event often enough to make sure you're getting the trophies from red cloaked horrors. And then you take your pile of materials back to convert to the actual currency to spend. By making these exchanges though, you also work on a larger progression system called the tribute tier. You steadily level this by engaging with the event and handing in and changing the materials over. It's blatantly the same system we saw with the new Hunter's Acclaim board, where you increase the XP bar, reach different levels, get different rewards. When you level up this exchange though, you also improve the square to represent the event better, a visual progression. You're sort of building the winter ward, which ties into the new aspect as I explained. The rewards from the actual tiers though are not that relevant. Some gold, 10k, 25k, 50k, that's tiny. It should be 10 times the amount of that gold. And then some bag rewards that give random aspect legendaries. This is fine for a new player working on their character, maybe doing an alt, but nothing too exciting for end game characters. It would be great if the final reward for this system was like a guaranteed unique or something. But yeah, that's my overview of the new event. In general, it's a solid showing for a seasonal event. Specific items and cosmetics you can go hunt and get pretty efficiently. There's no annoying RNG system that other games love to do for their seasonal events. You can buy a specific weapon bag for 20 proof and get exactly what you want. So I'm relieved they've done that. I also wouldn't exactly call this event or other events all that important to me personally. If you're into the cosmetic vibe for what we've got from these items, fair enough. Plenty of players like to collect stuff like that. But I would love to see more relevant rewards, especially for players who've been playing regular or not. Just like the abattoir, it does look like they're afraid to give us any relevant reward. Like the amount of gold they give you for the event is so small. At least they're kindly letting us keep the XP elixirs and the aspect beyond the event and maybe bring it over to the Eternal Realm eventually. So the Midwinter Blight event is basically pretty inoffensive and straightforward, but also not anything overly special. If you guys know any other details I've missed, then you can drop it in the comments. But hopefully I've told you everything you need to know. For now, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.
Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.